Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make liquid air and even liquid oxygen with just a bag, a test tube, and some liquid nitrogen. So today I'm going to be turning this bag of air into a liquid. So liquid nitrogen boils at around negative 196 Celsius, but liquid oxygen boils at a neg negative 183 degrees Celsius. And so what that means is that you can liquefy oxygen using liquid nitrogen. So you could do this if you had some compressed oxygen. You could run it through this liquid nitrogen in a tube and it would condense out of it. But I'm gonna show you the simple, easy way to do it. And that's just to get a bag, fill it with air. That just means going like this. And then connecting it to a test tube. And then I'm gonna put the test tube in the liquid nitrogen and it's going to start condensing the air out of the bag and it's going to fall into the bottom of the test tube here and you'll see some liquid air start to accumulate at the bottom. And then once we take that out, if you let it sit for a while, the liquid nitrogen will boil off first, leaving behind just liquid oxygen. So I'll stick my test tube in it and we should see some liquid start to form at the bottom there eventually. It's going to condense the oxygen out of here. It's also going to condense the nitrogen out of there. It's going to freeze the carbon dioxide that's in the air and make it a solid. And it's going to freeze the water that's in the air and also make it a solid. So you can see the liquid at the bottom there. A little bit hard to see in the cup, but so as this bag continues to cool, the volume of it is getting smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually all that volume in the bag is gonna be this tiny bit of liquid at the bottom there. Okay, you can see the liquid air at the bottom of the test tube in the liquid nitrogen. If I take it out, it'll quickly frost up, so I'm leaving it in there. So that is liquid oxygen, liquid nitrogen, and I don't see any solid yet, but there should be a little bit of solid in there that's carbon dioxide. Okay, it's looking good now. Look how much liquid air we have in there. It's a lot. <laughs> the volume of our bag is about half of the initial volume it was before. Okay, here's my final liquid air in here. So you can see what happens when I pour it on this fire here. The fire can keep burning. <laughs> it boiled before it even went. You can tell that that was liquid air going in. It had oxygen with it, so the fire could keep burning. For example, if I pour just the liquid nitrogen on it, it immediately goes out, even before the liquid gets there. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And you can comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see me do or any questions you have any questions you have about the experiment I did, and I'll see you next time.